In this video, we're going to talk about solving basic equations. So let's start with a very basic one. Let's say that x plus 4 is equal to 9. What is the value of x? So what number plus 4 is 9? Well, we know that 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. So therefore, x has to be equal to 5. Now, to show your work, what you need to do is you need to perform the opposite of addition. The opposite of addition is subtraction. So if we subtract both sides by 4, notice that we'll get the answer. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0, so these two cancel. And 9 minus 4 is 5, so x is equal to 5. So based on that example, go ahead and solve this equation. If x plus 7 is equal to 11, what is the value of x? What number plus 7 is 11? Well, let's find out. Let's subtract both sides by 7. 7 minus 7 is 0. And so all we have left over is x, which is equal to 11 minus 7. That's 4. And we could verify it. 4 plus 7 is 11. Here's another example. Let's say that x minus 5 is equal to 6. What is the value of x? So what number minus 5 is equal to 6? The best way to figure this out is to get x by itself. Whenever you want to solve an equation, you need to isolate the x variable. You need to get it on one side of the equation. So we got get rid of this uh, negative 5. And to get rid of it, we need to add 5 to both sides. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. So x is therefore equal to 6 plus 5, which is 11. And now to verify it, 11 minus 5 is indeed equal to 6. So that's the solution to the equation. Go ahead and try a similar example. Let's say that x minus 8 is equal to 9. What is the value of x? The opposite of subtraction is addition. So like the other example, we're going to add 8 to both sides to isolate the x variable. So now x is equal to 9 plus 8. And 9 plus 8 is 17. So that's the answer for this problem. 17 minus 8 is 9. Here's a new one. Let's say that 5 minus x is equal to 7. Based on that, what is the value of x? So what do you think we need to do to get the x variable by itself? First, we need to subtract both sides by 5. We need to get rid of the 5. There's a positive sign in front of the 5, so we got to subtract both sides by 5. Now, 7 minus 5 is equal to positive 2. And we could bring down the negative x. So therefore, negative x is equal to positive 2. Now, when you get into a situation like this, what you need to do is multiply both sides by a negative sign. Two negatives will turn into a positive. So on the left, we have positive x, which is simply just x. And on the right, we have negative 2. So x is equal to negative 2. Now, we could check this answer. If we take this x value and insert it into the original equation, let's see if we get 7. So 5 minus x, where x is negative 2, is equal to 7. So here we have two negative signs. A negative times a negative is a positive, so this becomes 5 plus 2. And 5 plus 2 is indeed equal to 7. So x is equal to negative 2. Try a similar problem. Let's say that 4 minus x is equal to 3. Go ahead and find the value of x. So like before, we're going to subtract both sides by 4. 3 minus 4 is equal to negative 1. And let's bring down the negative x. So now let's multiply both sides by a negative sign. So on the left, we have negative times negative x, which is positive x. Negative times negative 1, that's positive 1. So x is equal to 1. 
And it makes sense because 4 minus 1 is 3. What if you were to see an equation that looks like this? If 3x is equal to 24, what is the value of x? The opposite of multiplication is division. 3 is multiplied to x. So to separate the 3 from the x, we need to divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we're going to get 1x, which is simply x. And 24 divided by 3 is 8. So x is 8. And it makes sense because 3 times 8 is indeed 24. So let's try a similar problem. If 5x is equal to 35, then what is the value of x? If we divide both sides by 5, x is going to be 35 divided by 5, which is 7. Because 5 times 7 is 35. So these are the solutions to uh, these two equations. Let's say that x divided by 4 is equal to 5. What is the value of x? So what number divided by 4 has a value of 5? In order to solve this equation, we need to get rid of the 4. And since x is divided by 4, we need to perform an operation that's contrary to division. The opposite of a division is multiplication. So we're going to multiply both sides by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So on the left, we're just going to get x. And on the right, we're going to have 5 times 4, which is 20. And so this is the answer. And to verify it, 20 divided by 4 is indeed equal to 5. So x is 20. So based on that example, if x divided by 6 is 3, what is the value of x? So in this example, we need to multiply both sides by 6. On the left side, the 6 values will cancel. On the right side, it's going to be 3 times 6, which is 18. So x is equal to 18. 18 divided by 6 is 3. Now, what if we had a fraction, but this time x is in the denominator of the fraction instead of the numerator, the top portion of the fraction? So what do you think we need to do in this case? Well, let's do it mentally. 8 divided by what number is 4? Well, we know that 8 divided by 2 is 4. So therefore, x has to be equal to 2. But now, how can we show work for this example? Well, here's a quick and simple technique. 4 is the same as 4 divided by 1. Whenever you have two fractions separated by an equal sign, you can cross multiply. 8 times 1 is 8. Don't forget to write the equal sign, and then we can multiply the other two. x times 4 is simply 4x. Now, in order to solve it, we need to get rid of the 4 on the right side. We need to get x by itself. So we need to divide both sides by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so we have x on the right side. On the left, we have 8 divided by 4, which is 2. And so x is indeed equal to 2. So try this one. If 12 divided by x is 4, what is the value of x? 12 divided by what number is 4? Well, 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So mentally, we can see that x is equal to 3. But go ahead and pause the video. Show your work. Prove that x is equal to 3. So we're going to follow the same steps as the last example. Let's cross multiply. 12 times 1 is 12. x times 4 is 4x. And next, we're going to divide both sides by 4. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. Therefore, x is equal to 3. And so you want to make sure that you know how to perform this cross multiplication technique. You can only use it if you have two fractions separated by an equal sign. Now let's move on to our next example. Let's say that we have 3x plus 2 is equal to 14. What is the value of x? So here we have a multi-step equation. And the best way to solve it 
is to subtract 2 from both sides to begin with. Now the 2's will cancel, and on the right side we have 14 minus 2, which is 12. And then after that, divide by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4, so x is 4. Now if we check our work, 3 times 4 plus 2, is that equal to 14? 3 times 4 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. So the equation is verified, x is 4. So this is going to be the last example for this video. Go ahead and solve the equation. So in this example, what we need to do is add 3 to both sides. 17 plus 3 is 20. So 5x is equal to 20. Next, let's divide both sides by 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. And so that's going to be the solution to this equation.